morning and welcome to the frozen tundra. I mean Frederick, Colorado. Sorry, it's a beautiful day out here as you can see. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through this 2022 Winnebago Revel. Now before you get too excited, this is a sold unit. It actually belongs to none other than Thug Rose Nama Yunus. She is a UFC strawweight champion at the time. She's awesome. Rose, can't wait to see your next fight. Uh, I'm going to walk you guys through this and uh, give you a sneak peek at it in case you want to order one, okay? So the Revel is on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. This is a 3 liter turbo diesel with 188 horsepower. This is what you call the, the blue gray. The Revel comes in three color options. You got the blue gray, the pebble gray, which is kind of a tan, and then you have silver. This one was ordered with the upgraded wheels and tires. Side light or porch light. We also have an awning up top that I'm not gonna put out today because of the weather. So we get around the back here. You're gonna see we have our, our rear ladder I've said this before, but I'm going to go ahead and say it again. Only in this. And also the back of the Coleman Mach 10 air conditioner up top. Down below, we're going to have our receiver hitch with our seven pin connector. The receiver hitch here is rated for 5,000 pounds, 500 pounds of tongue weight. All right, as I open this up back here, a couple of things I want to point out. As you can see, we have our roll left screen. This is how you're going to black out the back windows when it's time to go to bed or get some privacy. You just roll this all the way down. On this side here, we're going to have our water bay. Let me squeeze around here. So this is your water pump. This is going to turn on the side light on the driver's side. And then this is your outdoor shower with hot and cold water. And then again, you're gonna have your color-coded valves here. Easy to follow instructions. And there's your city water connection. I wanna point out that if you own a Revel, you probably already know there's a How to Revel app, which is awesome. They walk you through every component in the, in the Revel and make it really easy to follow along. On this side here, we're gonna have a couple of switches. So this is gonna be your inverter main disconnect. So if you wanna shut off the inverter, you would turn that to the up position. This is gonna turn on your lights right under the bed here. You're gonna have a couple of USB ports as well. And then also you have a portable solar panel uh, plug-in right here. So you got 200 watts of solar on the roof. If you want additional, you can carry a portable panel and you can bring it along with that. We'll go over the rest of the, the rear there, the garage area when we go inside. All right, as we come over to the driver's side, you can see we're gonna have our 30 amp shore power connection right here. This is where you would plug in if you're at a campsite if you're at home, you got your van in the garage, you can hook up an adapter that'll plug into your uh, 110 outlet at home, continue to get a charge. Up top, you'll see our driver's side scene light. Under here is gonna be our gray tank drain. So this is where you would hook up your sewer hose to drain your 21 gallons of gray tank. The Revel does not come with a black tank. It comes with this five gallon cassette toilet. It's got wheels on the bottom, really easy to move around. When it's time to dump it, you basically take off the cap, flip it. You push this blue button here, that'll vent it and let all the liquid out. 
it's a really clean process. I actually prefer that over a, just a regular black tank. To me, it's a lot cleaner. Another fixed running board on this side. Down here, you're going to see your exhaust for the heating system in the, in the Revel, which we'll go over when we go inside. Again, you got a good look at the luggage rack on this side. Each of the cross members will hold up to 40 pounds. All right, Mercedes Sprinter is a diesel van, so this is where you'd fill your, your diesel. Remember not to do gas. I always do diesel. A couple of things I want to point out here. Right here under the driver's seat are your fuses. Should something not, not work properly, you always want to check your fuses, breakers first. Right under here, we're going to pop the hood. And then before we go up front, you'll see we have power door locks, windows, and mirrors. The mirrors will uh, come down, they'll retract, so they'll get closer to the van in case you need a little bit more room for getting in your garage. So under the hood again, as I mentioned earlier, you got a three liter turbo diesel. Should you ever need a jump start or give a jump, this is your positive terminal here. Right under here is gonna be your ground. That would be this one right here. Got your wiper fluid right here. Easy to access, easy to fill. Got your engine oil right here, your coolant. Of course, you're gonna have your death fluid right here for emissions. You wanna keep an eye on that so you don't get put into limp mode. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me. Pat, Rose, you do have the flux capacitor on this new model just like you have in your 2020. So, that'll be nice. No, no loss of power for you guys. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go inside here. See if we can get a little warmed up. But before we go inside, a couple things to point out. You're gonna have your flip down table. This does have adjustment here. So if you're on unlevel ground, you can adjust that so that your stuff's not rolling off the table. Down here, you can have your low point drains. Okay, as we go in here, you'll see we have a solid ram mount grab bar here, help you get in. On this side, we're gonna have our refrigerator, which again is easy to access from outside, easy to load. We're gonna have our awning in and out, your awning lights, you're gonna have a 110 outlet here. This light's actually going to light up. There's an LED light under the running board there. That'll light that up. And then this is going to turn on the porch light out here up top. All right, we'll go ahead and come on in. Get my camera guy out of the weather. Let me shut this door. All right, so now that we're inside, we'll go in the galley here. We're gonna have our stainless steel sink, our induction cooktop is now in a drawer, easy to take out. Put it on here, you can use a little table that's outside that I showed you earlier, plug it in. It's nice to have it in here because when you're not using it, you have the additional counter space here where before it used to be counter sunk into the, into the sink area here. I have plenty of storage. This van is 19 foot 7 inches in length. And for a short coach, you still have a lot of storage. 
right here. I'm gonna duck under the bed. Here's our pantry area. These shelves are adjustable. All right. A couple things I wanna show in here in the restroom. So this does come with your two storage shelves here. So while you're driving, you can actually use this somewhat as a closet. You've got a rod up here so you can hang clothes up. You got your shower curtain. You're gonna get your goodie bag here with your outdoor shower hose, your sewer hose. If you happen to get a flat, this is how you change that out and access the spare that's underneath. All right, I do wanna point out something here. I'm gonna lift up this bottom shelf. The porta potty in here is a Thetford. It does rotate around so you can sit sideways or you can turn it forward. This blue button up top there is where you're going to push that button to get water to the toilet. Once the water is in there, I want to show this a lot of people don't know and they ask, this down here is how you flush it. So this little lever here, you turn it to the right and it opens up and that's how you would flush it. Toilet paper holder down there. And there's a light right here. This light switch, this is, uh, you know, if somebody's in there, you wanna turn the light off on them, mess with them a little bit, that's where you turn that off. All right, now we'll go over this main panel here. This top, switch here where I have the keys in. This is where you put the Euro loft up and down using these arrows. All right, I'm gonna back out and let you go in there to show the bed. Those bump outs make it so that the bed gives you plenty of room, plenty of space. All right. So you can see up above the bed, you're gonna have your air conditioner. That air conditioner will run off of the lithium batteries in the 22 models, also the 21s. Um, we'll run the, just off of your battery. So if you're boondocking, if you're just driving down the road, you can actually run that without having to be plugged in. The Revel also has an additional alternator under the hood uh, to charge those lithium batteries as you're, as you're running down the road. Time to access the garage. We just push the up arrow again, lift that bed up. One thing I want to point out from right here, as you can see, we have a ram mount right there. We have several ram mounts throughout the van. Uh, they make a lot of accessories for those. So you can um, put your iPad on there, cell phone, uh, just go to ram mounts and you can find different accessories. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the key out of the, the loft, the Euro loft section here and kind of go over the rest of this control panel. This is gonna be your heat also runs your hot water so right now I have the thermostat set at 75 if you want to run the hot water you tap on that and turn that on so I'm going to shut it off we'll keep the heat going for now you see these are going to be your light switches right here's your Xantrax on off button for your lithium batteries so the lights being solid right now means that they have a full charge. If the lights were blinking, that means they, they were charging, currently charging. But as you can see right now, we're at full charge. This one place monitor here, this is where you turn on the water pump. Your tank levels, so we're empty. And then your batteries are at 14.3 and 13.2 volts. You can turn the water pump on here or in the rear uh, where the water bay is where I showed earlier. This is gonna be your Xantrax inverter controller right here. 
Again, there's the main disconnect in the back of the van. This is where you could also turn it off. But I would leave this on all the time and just go off of, uh, when you want to shut it off, you're going to disconnect it. This right here is to shut off your solar charge controller, your solar panels, basically. If you're going to park it for a long period of time, it's going to be parked indoors. Obviously, it's not going to be getting any sun. You'd want to shut this off and turn off all the power in the van um, to keep any parasitic draws from drawing your batteries down. All right. I do want to show something back here. So under this compartment, this is where your two lithium batteries are going to be. These are thermal blankets, and this is where you turn those on. So the down position is on. So right now they are on. It's obviously cold outside. Uh, lithium batteries do not do well uh, in freezing temperature as far as charging. Uh, so we want to keep them warm, and this is how we do that in cold temperature. If it's summertime, springtime, the weather's not dropping under you know, 32 degrees, you'd want to push that button up to turn it off so it's not drawing any power as well. Under here you can actually see that 2000 watt inverter from Xantrax. All right. Right under here as you can see we have a little storage pouch and a net, additional storage again in a van more storage the merrier so this is a nice place that you can put some other stuff maybe sleeping bags uh, your coats just miscellaneous items and then you have this zipper bag right here all right always be careful as you're walking in and out not to hit your head on that i've done it several times all right right here we're going to have our table our dining table you can sit here you can swivel this seat around then you can play cards, you can eat, um, plenty of room. Again, most people, one or two people in these Revels are fine. There are families that are doing three and four kids, three or four people, um, family members going down the road at one time and they seem to make it work well as, you know, as well. Up here in the st storage compartment, we're gonna have a night or a 12 volt outlet. Got your 12 volt outlet and you're gonna have a couple USB ports and then a 110 outlet as well. Right up here, as you can see, it says roof access port. If you want to add a Wii Boost or any other accessories outside, you go through here. Keeps you from having to drill into the roof. All right, now we can talk about this front area. Like I said earlier, this is on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. A couple of cool features with Mercedes, it's got all the safety features. You've got lane keep assist, you've got lane departure, you've got uh, crosswind, you've got pretty much every safety feature uh, that you can think of is on this van. On your steering wheel controls, you've got two different little mouse pads here. This left one is going to work your gauges on the dash. So you can screen through here. Okay, just using this like a mouse. You've got your home or back button right here. You've got your adaptive cruise right here. You can set that and set how far back you want to be from the car in front of you and set your cruise control right there. On the right side, this is going to operate your huge display here. You get bored, you can go sit in your garage. Don't do it today when it's cold. I wouldn't be outside playing in this, but you can go through all this. You go through your apps, and you can go to smartphone. You can connect your smartphone. It actually does have Android Auto and Auto Apple CarPlay. You can go into your settings. You can adjust. Can oh, Mercedes actually heard me there. You can say, hey, Mercedes. It's kind of like saying, hey, Siri get directions you can ask questions you have all your users manuals actually on this coach you got navigation super simple if you don't want to use the steering wheel controls you also can make phone calls from here 
you can actually use the push button instead. We have our camera angles here. You're going to have your home button. Back to your settings. Radio media. Navigation. So super simple to use. A lot of tutorials online. Uh, I would I would actually spend quite a bit of time learning how to use that if you want to set up the Wi-Fi. There's a lot of different options you can set up with this. Down here you're going to have your AC and heat controls, your fan controls, hazards. You're going to have your defrost, your circulate, and then your rear defrost. Under here, this is a 4x4 sprinter. This is where you would activate the 4x4, and then you have low range as well. Up here, you've got these toggle switches up here, these paddle controls, paddle shifters basically. You can also use these to control your volume. Um, right here is where you're going to put it in drive. This is your shifter right here. If you've never had a sprinter, first time it's kind of confusing because you're looking for the shifter down here. Push down on it, goes into drive. Up one is neutral. Up to the top is reverse, and then to put it in park, you're actually going to push this button right here, puts you in park. Once you're in park, your emergency brake here, because these seats do swivel, you, act, you can actually just push down af after it's activated. Once you have it set, you can push down and it stays active. Um, and that allows you to swivel your seats without rolling down, <laughs> rolling down the hill. To disengage it, you push this button, lift up, and then go back down, and now the parking brake is disengaged. Plenty of cup holders up front, as usual with the sprinters. Up here, you're going to have your USB Type-C ports for charging. You're going to have one that connects you to your stereo system, and then this is actually a wireless charging pad as well. And have more storage up here on both sides. Plenty of room for storage. You got one over there. Got a couple more cup holders there if you need them, which I don't think you would, but hey, you never know. Up here, your lights, your SOS button here. If you get in an accident, you need to call for help, you need assistance, you have an SOS button right down there. You've got your reading lights map lights mercedes sprinter awesome again uh, this one is sold if you'd like to get another one uh, get one on order please give me a call uh, we do have there's always usually one here that you can come and look at so i don't say always because they're not always in stock but usually we have one you can come look at please give us a call we'll set up an appointment rose pat thank you guys for uh upgrading your 2020 uh, if you're interested i know pat and rose are going to actually be selling theirs i'd check out their facebook page i checked the revel facebook group they're going to be listing it there as well so if you guys have any questions any comments if you'd like me to show you another uh, coach i can do a facetime video uh, you can call me text or email si hablo espanol me pueden hablar al 720 276 42 41 Thank you guys again. We'll see you tomorrow, actually.